and Tam. Yes, thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Commissioner, for your introduction. First of all, I know your personal commitment to uh, freedom and democracy, so I'm sure that uh, our press freedom is in good hands with you. However, you say that the European Commission has no general powers to protect freedom of the press. But I would say that that is a rather narrow interpretation of your powers, because first of all, protecting democracy and freedom and civil liberties is enshrined in the treaties, and you are the custodian of the treaties. Uh, secondly, if we as a European Union demand from candidate member states that they meet certain standards, then we may assume that the Commission will protect those standards within the European Union as well. Uh, another element is that media ownership is uh, increasingly a cross-border issue um, and we could even imagine that there are non-EU uh, members uh, or, or let's say companies who own European media and would you still say that if let's say Russian or Chinese owners uh, interfere with European media that it's not our business? I don't think so. Then the second issue at stake here is whether we should name and shame, whether we should single out individual member states. Yes, I think we should. It may be unpleasant, and surely I would not like my member state to be criticized. But if we are no longer capable to self-criticism, then how can we protect fundamental rights? And I would like to remind Mr. Busutil, my um, uh, estimated colleague, that this parliament in a previous mandate has adopted a resolution on uh, the Berlusconi government and freedom of the media that went way beyond the one that was rejected last year. So we do have a precedent. This House has repeatedly called for legislation, specific legislation, to give the European Commission the tools to intervene and protect freedom throughout Honorable the European Union. Thank you, Chair. Grazie.